Hello everyone, I am Dr. Zina, a full-time dentist. You selected this video because you want to learn the difference between dense invaginators and evaginators. So make sure to watch the full video. But before we continue, make sure to press the subscribe button down below in order to encourage me to do more. Now, dense invaginators, from its name in, so inside, it is also another name for it, is dense indenti. It is a rare condition that is characterized by having an enamel within the pulp or tooth within tooth. Dense indenti, dent means tooth, so it is tooth within tooth. Now, here is the x-ray appearance uh, for dense invaginators that was taken. As you can see, there is a radiolucency within the uh, pulp and there is radio opacity. This radio opacity is the dense invaginators, which confirms our uh, diagnosis that the patient is having uh, dense invaginators due to the presence of uh, radio opacity, which is the enamel within the pulp. The most commonly affected teeth are the maxillary lateral incisors. Whereas dense evaginators, it is not inside, it is outside, so it's having an extra cusp above. It is called dense evaginators if it is in the posterior teeth, but it's called talon cusp if it is on the anterior teeth. And you can also name it as leeway premolar if it is present on the premolars. Now the reason it is called talon cusp on the anterior teeth because it looks just like the talon of an eagle, which you can see in the picture down below. Now dense evaginators, it is most commonly found within the central group or on the lingual ridge of the buccal cusp of a molar or premolar. As you can see in the picture, it is found on the molar, which is on the central group of the molar. And can you specify which tooth is it? Write down in the comment section. Here is the X-ray appearance uh, for dense evaginators. As you can see, we have a uh, radio opacity on the uh, central groove of the tooth, uh, which confirms our diagnosis that it is not found within the pulp. It is found uh, on the surface of the enamel, so it is dense E, not N. The causes behind the two conditions is still unknown up to date. Now, the problem with dense invaginators, since we have like a tooth embedded within the pulp, uh, of course, it can cause an infection to the pulp and doing an RCT is very difficult to be done, but it's possible. So the treatment that is provided for dense invaginators is early detection of the lesion, prophylactic or preventive sealing of the invagination in order to prevent further damage to the pulp, RCT if there is a pulp invasion and endodontic epical surgery, intentional reimplantation, etc. Whereas on the other hand, dense evaginators uh, mean that extra cast on the tooth, but this extra cast does not mean that the tooth is extra strong because it can break easily, leading to pulpitis. Therefore, afterward, you need to do an RCT for the tooth. So the treatment that is provided for dense evaginators is early detection of the lesion as well as RCT and extraction at the end. Now, the patients will not complain of any pain, whether it is dense invaginators or evaginators. I told you the treatment that is provided in case the patient, he had a pain. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe in my channel in order to encourage me to do just like these videos. And comment down below for my question that I asked. And if you like the video, don't forget to press like.